Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang orthogonal trajectories. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay tuturo ko naman sa inyo ang another application ng differential equations which is itong orthogonal trajectories. So, meron akong naunang video about other applications ng DE like, like Newton's Law of Cooling, Simple Chemical Conversion, as well as applications in circuits. So, kung hindi pa napapanood, isililink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. So, ngayon is magpo-focus tayo sa orthogonal trajectories. So, ano ba ang orthogonal trajectories? So, let's define it. So, sabi, given two family of curves, f of x, comma y, comma c equal 0, and g of x, comma y, comma k equal 0, if at any intersection of the two curves, the tangent lines are perpendicular, then the curves are said to be orthogonal trajectories of each other. Okay, so kung meron daw tayong given two family of curves with equations, f of x, y, z equal 0, and g of x, y, k equal 0, then kung yung tangent lines daw dun sa bawat intersection ng dalawang family of curves na yon is perpendicular, then the two family of curves are said to be orthogonal trajectories of each other. Okay, so as an illustration, meron ako ditong dalawang family of curves. In particular, itong family of parabola, tsaka family of ellipse. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung intersection nila, right? Meron silang iba't ibang intersection. So, applying the concept of orthogonal trajectories, kung kukuhain natin yung tangent line at specific intersection, let's say at this point, so pag dinaroon natin yung tangent line, so dito sa ellipse, at dito rin sa parabola, so, dapat perpendicular sila. Lagi. Okay, so yun yung concept natin ng orthogonal trajectories. Now, dumako naman tayo kung paano mag-solve ng equations ng orthogonal trajectories. So, given a differential equation, mdx plus ndy equals 0. So, ito yung form natin ng DE, right? Wherein, meron tayong differential dx at dy at merong nakamultiply sa kanila na function of x at y na m at n respectively. So, Kung kukuhain natin dito yung dy over dx, so we have mdx is equal to, transpose ko dito si ndy, negative ndy. So pwede kong i-cross multiply si n, cross multiply si dx. So magiging m over n is equal to dy over dx, negative. O itong negative, multiplying both sides, we have negative m over n is equal to positive dy over dx. So, diba itong dy over dx or parang y prime, siya yung nagsisilbing slope ng tangent line. So, therefore, applying the concept ng orthogonal trajectories, they're perpendicular yung tangent lines nila at any intersection. Dapat yung magiging slope ng orthogonal trajectories dito sa given differential equation na to is negative reciprocal nitong dy over dx na negative m over n, which is n over m positive. So, therefore, ito yung dapat yung magiging slope nung ating orthogonal trajectories. dy over dx is equal to n over m. Or solving it, in terms of this form, we have, cross multiply ko ulit, so n dx equals m dy. Or, transpose ko sa kabila si n dx, magiging m dy minus n dx equal 0. So, ito yung pwede natin i-apply na formula or equation para mahanap natin yung orthogonal trajectories of a given differential equation. Let's say, mdx plus ndy equal 0. So, ito siya, mdy minus ndx equal 0. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung concepts at formula for orthogonal trajectories, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, find the orthogonal trajectories of the given family of curves. For the first one, we have x minus 4y equals c. Okay, so lagi ang ibibigay sa atin dito is an equation of the curves, which is a family of curves kasi meron tayong constant, right? Ang pinakauna natin gagawin is hanapin natin yung differential equation nitong family of curves na given. So parang application siya ng elimination of arbitrary constants. Okay? So sige, gawin natin. So kailangan ma-eliminate natin yung c. So dahil isa lang naman yung constant natin, once lang tayo magdi-derivative. Base dun sa video ko about elimination of arbitrary constants, right? So, pwede natin gawin is i-differentiate na lang natin to explicitly in terms of x. So, derivative ng x is 1 minus derivative ng 4y is 4 
times derivative ng y is 1 times dapat meron tayong dy over dx. Kasi implicit differentiation tayo. Sa so lahat ng mga variable y na di-differentiate natin, lagi natin lalagyan ng dy over dx. Okay? Equal to, so, derivative ng constant is 0. Okay, so now, meron na tayong de, right? Ang next goal natin is isolve natin ngayon itong dy over dx. So, pwede natin gawin is i-transpose ko itong negative 4 dy over dx sa kabila. So, 1 is equal to 4 dy over dx. Then, divide both sides by 4. So, we have 1 fourth is equal to dy over dx. Now, yung kanina, kailangan nating mahanap yung negative reciprocal nito, right? Para siya yung maging slope ng ating differential equation for orthogonal trajectories. So, pag ginawa natin yun, negative reciprocal nitong 1 fourth is negative 4. Na i-equate ngayon natin sa dy over dx nung magiging bagong uh, curve natin, which is the orthogonal trajectories of the given family of curves na x minus 4y equals c. Okay? So, therefore, bali, ito yung naging differential equation ng ating orthogonal trajectories to this given curve. So, ang goal natin is masolve ngayon itong DE. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, parang doble yung process na gagawin natin. Una, through elimination of arbitrary constant, i-derive natin yung differential equation muna nung ating given family of curves. And then, isasolve natin doon sa derived equation yung dy over dx para mahanap natin yung slope. And then, negative reciprocal nun, i-equate natin sa dy over dx para mahanap natin yung de ng orthogonal trajectories. Okay? So, kailangan natin masolve yung equation nitong orthogonal trajectories para magawa yun, solve natin itong de. So, obviously, si parable de lang naman siya. So, cross-multiply ko si dx, we have negative 4dx is equal to dy. Then, integrate both sides, we have negative 4x equals integral ng dy is y, then plus c. Okay? Or other form of this can be 4x transpose then plus y equals transpose ko dito si constant negative c. Or if we let c1 be equal to negative c, observe yung negative, we have 4x plus y is equal to c1. So therefore, itong 4x plus y equals c1 is the family of curves that is the orthogonal trajectory of this given family of curves x minus 4y equals c. Okay? Next we have... Straight lines with slope and y-intercepts equal. Okay, so this time, words yung given, which is the description of the given family of curves. So, pwede rin yung ganong problem. Okay? So, para masolve natin to, i-transform muna natin to into equation. So, sabi, straight lines with slope and y-intercepts equal. So, gamitin natin yung slope-intercept form ng line. So, ba we have y is equal to mx plus b. Tapos, apply natin yung condition na dapat daw yung slope na m is equal doon sa y-intercept na b. Right? So, pwede natin i-substitute dito sa b is m. So, para maging y is equal to mx plus m. Right? So, meron lang tayong isang unknown variable which is m na constant. So, pwede natin siyang i-eliminate. Okay? So, derivative na lang natin. So, y prime is equal to derivative ng mx is m plus derivative nitong m is 0. Dahil constant siya. So, therefore, y prime is equal to m. Okay? Ngayon, pwede natin i-substitute dito sa pinaka-equation natin. Diba? y is equal to mx plus m. Etong m, equal siya sa y prime. So, pag sinubstitute natin, we have y is equal to m is y prime times x plus y prime. Or, sige, factor natin. y is equal to y prime x plus 1. Right? So, therefore, Ito na yung pinaka-DE natin kasi na-eliminate na natin yung M, right? So, solve ngayon natin ngayon si dy over dx. So, diba itong y prime siya yun? So, divide na lang natin both sides by x plus 1. So, y prime is equal to y over x plus 1. So, ito yung parang dy over dx natin, right? Then, dun sa ginawa natin sa first example, ang next step natin is negative reciprocal natin itong given dy over dx. So, magiging x plus 1 over y negative. Then, equate ngayon natin sa dy over dx. Then, ito na yung magiging differential equation ng ating required orthogonal trajectory ng given family of curves. Ang gagawin na lang natin is isasolve natin itong de, which is obviously a separable de. So, cross-multiply si y, cross-multiply si dx, magiging negative x plus 1 dx is equal to y dy. 
Okay, so integrating both sides, we have so integral ng negative x plus 1 dx. So if we let u be equal to x plus 1, du is equal to dx. So therefore, integral of negative x plus 1 is u, then dx is du. So integral niya is negative u squared over 2. Power formula. Then substituting itong x plus 1 sa u, magiging negative x plus 1 squared over 2, then equal to, etong integral ng y dy is simply y squared over 2, then plus c. Okay? Multiply natin both sides by 2. So, we have negative x plus 1 squared cancel c2 equals, distribute cancel din c2, y squared is equal to, distribute 2c. So, y squared plus 2c. So, Transpose ko na lang dito si negative x plus 1 quantity squared tsaka si 2c. So, we have x plus 1 quantity squared plus y squared is equal to negative 2c. Or again, itong negative 2c is simply let na lang natin as c1. Or para maging circle siya, right? Pwede natin gawin tong let's say, uh, c1 squared. So, pwede natin i-assign yun. Okay? So, therefore, x plus 1 quantity squared plus y squared is equal to c squared. So, equation pala ng circle, yung pwedeng maging orthogonal trajectories dito sa given family of curves natin na straight lines with slope and y-intercepts equal. Okay? Next, we have y squared times quantity 2x squared plus y squared equals c squared. Okay? So, first step is eliminate muna natin yung constant na c squared para makuha natin yung differential equation. So, since isa lang naman yung constant natin, which is nasa right side, naka-isolate, i-implicit differentiation na lang natin once itong given equation para ma-eliminate agad natin siya. Kasi derivative ng constant is just zero, right? So, distribute ko muna itong y squared. So, we have 2x squared y squared plus y to the fourth equals c squared. Then, implicit differentiation both sides. So, dito muna tayo sa 2x squared y squared. So, 2 times, copy ko muna itong x squared. Derivative ni y squared is 2y. Then, dapat may dy over dx. Plus, this time, copy ko naman si 2y squared. Then, differentiate ko itong x squared, which is 2x. Plus, derivative ni y to the fourth is 4y cubed. Then, dapat may dy over dx. Equals, derivative ni c squared dahil constant lang siya, 0. Okay? So, combine ko yung may mga dy over dx. So, dy over dx, factor ko na. So, ito, 2x squared times 2y is 4x squared y plus itong 4y cubed plus itong 2y squared times 2x is 4xy squared equals 0. So, transpose ko dito si 4xy squared. So, dy over dx times 4x squared plus 4y cubed equals negative 4xy squared. Divide both sides by 4x squared plus 4y cubed. So, cancel dy over dx. Okay? So, factor natin tong denominator. So, magiging 4y times x squared plus y squared. So, pwede natin makancel si 4 tsaka isang y. So, magiging negative xy over x squared plus y squared. Then, dy over dx. Ngayon, di ba, ang next step natin is negative reciprocal natin to, right? So, magiging x squared plus y squared over positive xy na. Then, equate natin sa bagong dy over dx. Tapos, ito na yung magiging be natin for the required orthogonal trajectory. So, solve na lang natin tong given be na to. So, cross multiply ko muna. So, xy dy is equal to x squared plus y squared dx. So, transpose ko dito si xy dy. So, x squared plus y squared times dx minus xy dy equals 0. So, obviously, siya ay homogeneous de. So, ilet ko na lang y is equal to vx. So, dy is equal to vdx plus x dv. Substitute. So, x squared plus y squared is vx squared. Then, dx minus x, y is vx, then dy is vdx plus x dv equals 0. So, x squared plus v squared x squared simplify dx minus 
x v x is x squared v times v d x plus x d v equal zero. Factor ko tong x squared. So one plus v squared d x minus x squared v v d x plus x d v equal zero. So cancel ko tong x squared. Matitira is one plus v squared d x minus v. So distribute ko na negative v squared d x minus v x d v equal zero. So combine ko tong d x. So one plus v squared minus v squared dx minus vx dv equal 0. So, cancel si v squared. So, dx na lang minus vx dv equal 0. So, separable na. Cross multiply ko na itong x. So, magiging dx over x minus v dv equal 0. Integrate both sides. So, integral ng dx over x is ln x minus integral ng v dv is power formula v squared over 2 equal constant. Now, itong V, palitan ko na, gawin ko ng in terms of, di ba, Y is equal to VX. So, V is equal to Y over X. So, palitan ko na. So, ln X, then Y squared over X squared over 2 or 2X squared equals C. Now, multiply ko both sides by 2. So, magiging 2 ln x minus y squared over x squared equals 2c. Itong 2c, gawin ko na lang c1. So, we have 2 ln x minus y squared over x squared equals c1. So, multiply ko both sides by x squared na nga rin. So, we have 2 x squared ln x minus y squared equals x squared c1. So, transpose ko dito si y squared, transpose ko dito si x squared c1. So, 2x squared ln x minus x squared c1 equals y squared. So, therefore, ito na yung pwede nating maging equation ng ating orthogonal trajectory dun sa given curve natin. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, orthogonal trajectories. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na ito at maraming salamat sa panonood.